Shalom, shalom, Yahshua Allah. I'm going to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem Rakadash, which in the Pedal Yubi Tongue, the Great Native Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to your sister, brothers, laboring this truth, and shalom to the brothers and sisters that's listening and studying to show yourselves approved. Shalom. So, it's going to be a quick little watchman lesson, you know, uh, looking out for the righteous. The righteous women, the few righteous women we got in this truth. You know, I got a, a video that is um, very graphic. It's going to show a, a woman being ravished. So if you don't want to see that, you know, this this is the warning beforehand. And it shows you that we're in them times where men are on demon time. You know, men and women. But, you know, the man is a stronger vessel. So if they want something from a woman, they can just take it. A lot of women and children are going to be vulnerable at this time. So I just want to show an example of a woman who's not, you know, she's not paying attention to the season of the times. And she was just too at ease, not knowing that we're in the evil times. So without further ado, let's watch the clip. right there. Matter of fact, let's play that. Yeah, sure. Let's play that one, too. Police say this crime took place on this street, and detectives say there is one man they really want to talk with. 
We've seen a lot of police around this part of the South Bronx as they look for this man. Detectives identify him as 39-year-old Kashan Parks. They say he's wanted for questioning in what they call a heinous crime. Local residents agree strongly. I was really shocked to see someone to take a belt. That's a weapon, you know, and to use it around somebody's neck and just pull it like that. You have no defense against it, especially if you're going backwards. Police say it happened here near 152nd Street and 3rd Avenue in the Melrose section on May 1st, around 5 a.m. We could be going to work at that time in the morning. So I feel really sad. Minnie Williams was among a variety of women we encountered who say they feel much less safe with the suspect still out there. After I saw the video, I was like, no, I'm not going outside because I don't know what's going to happen to me. Like, what happened to this lady? Police say that by choking the 45-year-old woman with his belt, the suspect left the woman unconscious and then dragged her between parked cars where he sexually assaulted her. After she came to, detectives say, she made her way to Lincoln Hospital, a trauma center four blocks away. Let's go to the hospital and tell the police and seek resources to, to help her. That was an amazing thing that she was able to do for herself. Cynthia Amadeo runs Barrier Free Living, a Bronx-based support network for survivors of violence. Like everyone we talked with, she... That's enough for that. So, y'all, as we see, which tripped me out, man, I thought it was a migrant first time I seen it, man. It's a Jake. I'm like, dang, it's a Jake on demon time right now. And I'm like, the chick didn't look, you know, to me, sexually attractive to be doing that. She 45. You know, these chicks out here is giving it up for 40 bucks, so it wasn't no need for that. So he just wanted to be demonic and take it. And that's the times we're living in. So for all you righteous sisters, you know... You know, be be on your clock, be circumspect, be watching out. Because I'm looking at her like she was so laxy days. How you let dude creep up on you like that? You walking outside at 3 in the morning. There's a song that say freaks come out at night. They just didn't say that to be saying that. And she got caught up. She should have heard dude coming up. You walking the block in New York, and New York streets is rough right now. I'm just going by videos I'm seeing on the YouTube. So I'm looking at her like, why would you be that relaxed? You know, not paying attention, really need to have, uh, well, she had a weapon when it helped at that point, she already got caught. She was just being too lax. And that was a woman at ease. And that's what's going to happen to these women, man. They're not paying attention, they're not seeing what's going on. You know, that's the good thing about you righteous, few righteous sisters in this truth. You know what's going on. You know what time it is. You listening to the prophets. These women in the world don't know. They think everything all good because Esau tell them it's good. And we seeing no, it's not. Now you went, oh, I'm scared now. And this is happening while society is still intact. Imagine when all hell break loose and Jacob's trouble happened. A lot of wicked women about to get ravished at this time. So let's get to the scriptures. I'm going to start with, because what, what her problem was, she was at ease. You know, too, too laxed. Chilling too much. And this is Isaiah. 32 and 9. Rise up, yea, women that are at ease. Hear my voice, yea, careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. So that was a careless daughter right there. You know, I don't know if she's a Jake or not, but, you know, she was being careless. And it said, hear my voice. That's what all Israelite women should be doing right now is listen to the prophets. Because that's the voice of the Lord right now. Because we'll let you know what time it is. You know what type of times we're dealing with. These men are wicked. They got this rap music in their ear. All I heard, man, these rap dudes tell you, I'm on demon time. You know, Jacob to no good. They were a ski mask as a fashion statement now. Hoodies. You know, that's how they walk. These youngsters walk around like that. And in a minute, when stuff get bad, they're going to start just, you know, acting out whatever the demons on them tell them to do. He said, give ear unto my speech. You know, we tell the women, it's time to live holy, be separate. You know, be put up. Don't be out all times of the night. If you do got to be out at night, you know, if you work a night job or whatnot, you know, be watching out. Have your weapon on you. What? Make sure can't nobody sneak up on you. Make sure ain't nobody watching you. Look in your rear view. Make sure a car ain't following you. This stuff is about to get real intense as we move further in prophecy. 
the the, the, the sex trafficking is getting caught up at all time high so it's probably getting hard to find new victims so they're gonna be all desperate watch yourself when you shop at walmart warehouse market watch your car look at the doorknob before you get in your car i heard they're putting fentanyl on women's doorknobs and i heard too much to make you pass out then they'll take you that way so watch your doorknob you know just watch out look at your surroundings Dude could be pop up from a car and just mug you real quick. You know, be on your guard. Now, I ain't saying be all paranoid and scary-like. I'm just saying be cautious. You know, be listening up. Don't have your, your ear pods in your ear when you walking down the street, walk to your car. You need to hear what's going on. You need to hear them footsteps of somebody trying to sneak up on you. So you can, you know, do what you need to do. She wasn't doing that. She should have heard that dude creeping up on her. She was being careless. Especially at 3 in the morning. I'm like, you really should be watching out. You know, you a woman. You vulnerable. These dudes ain't paying nothing. They ain't got no money. They just gonna take box. That's what they about to do. And then, like, you, she better be like, you know, the, the Jake got her up. Because Esau would have unallowed her butt. Esau chopping Eve up. You know, these Eve's going on dates with Esau. And he just chopping them on up. Dismembering them. We're in that time, we're in that season where wickedness is about to be. Matter of fact, I'm about to go get that. Man, the love of many is waxing cold. You know? Matter of fact, I'm going to keep on reading this one. This is Isaiah 32 and 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, yea, careless women. For the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. The vintage is failing on this place. Society is collapsing. Esau's Wicked kingdom, Babylon the Great, is collapsing. And when that vintage fails, wickedness is going to pop up. Criminals going to have their free run to do what they want, man. It's going to be, hey, and the power's in your hands. Ain't going to be no 911. That's why, hey, the Lord right here said you careless women. The women, I don't need no man. I, yeah. When this vintage fail and the gathering should not come, no, no more food in the supermarkets and all of that, it's going to get rough. These women going to wish they had a man of the Lord when these times hit. That's why he said I'm going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Now the value going to kick in. And see, they was blind to that because they listened to this music. They listened to Esau. He like a snake charmer. He just got him in this, you know, this relaxed mood. You got it, baby. You strong. You independent. We got it. You secure. I got a police force, military. You good out here. No, you not, man. They got migrants in this sucker. Man, Jake on demon time. Esau is the devil in the flesh. They doing stuff too. Don't get it misconstrued. Esau just don't usually get caught. And that dude was so, you know, had so many demons on him and so wicked, he did it right there in public. He didn't care he got caught between some cars. He could have got caught. He didn't care. That's how strong the influence of them demons was on him. And then the use a belt. Man, he did that like she was a straight heifer. Like he was hurling the cow. And like he was so smooth with that. You could tell she was not his first victim. He done did that a lot. He was too smooth with that. He wasn't scared. He knew exactly what to do. It was like all premeditated. So, and then look, with this video going viral, other little weird demonic dudes gonna get the same idea. Oh no, you don't need that, man. You don't need no money. Hey, cook, get a belt. Get a dress belt. Hit it around her neck. And drag her and get it, man. So that's going to get these, these demonic dudes' ideas. So this might be a, a trend moving forward. So, hey, so y'all got to stay prayed up. Be watching out. And I'm going to uh, read this one, too. This is uh, Isaiah 32 and 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip, ye and make ye bare. Ye dude did that to her. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. We supposed to be in the house of mourning. You know, we supposed to be watching out, staying prayed up. Not walk around here like it's all good. And party time. These dudes is out here on demon time. They wicked. And they ain't about to talk or pay for no box. He was about to take it. This dude used a belt to pass her out. Probably robbed her. And got her box. They don't tell if he got 
what type of STDs he got. You know, she just got some horrible judgment right there from the Lord for being careless. You know, she looked like a northern tribe. I ain't really watched uh, if they disclosed, you know, her identity yet. I see the dude, dude or Jake. I'm like, dang, they said usually that used to be Esau type of material. Now Jake doing it. Jake usually pays a little 40 bucks or whatever he got to pay to get the box. Now Jake up here doing, usually they be Esau doing that. I said, Jake is, is being just like Esau now. You can't put it past these little wicked Negroes, these little two-thirds. That's why, hey, I'd avoid, if I was a woman, I'd avoid all two-third dudes, period. Because at this point, you should know you're a Hebrew Israelite and you should be striving to be righteous. If you're not that, you're a waste of time. Because if things get bad, you can't put no trust in him. He, he's not going to be, he ain't going to hold up. Shoot, that dude's so wicked and the food get low, he might, you know, do some cannibalism. So we, hey, we got to be locked in on the Lord at this point. So I'm going uh, to get that one scripture. I ain't have it in the, in the holster. We can go get it, though. Because this is what's happening right here. This is Matthew 24 and 12. And it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Wickedness is abounding. Because Esau's taking the money out the system. It's system collapsing. So you're going to have food shortages, job shortages. You know, people are one of all needs. Great tribulation. And with all that wickedness going and abounding, the, ain't nobody going to have no love, man. You're going to see dudes might not even care. They probably seen that chick getting ravished and didn't even care. Like, ain't even my business. You know? Uh, children about to get attacked. Because these people ain't got love in them, man. This is not like the, the 80s and 90s. We're at the end of Esau's kingdom. And at the end, it's going to be real bad tribulation for Jake. And the most vulnerable people are women and children. And women right now, I'm looking at a lot of ease, man. They, they, they too comfortable. At the end, I'm looking like, man, they, they caught up in that strong delusion. And it's going to end bad for them. They didn't went and got all these little BBLs and fake eyelashes. Man, they might get lasso with a belt. And dude, gonna, he going to test that BBL out. She, she really set herself up for destruction, really. A lot of them, these worldly, you know, two-third women, they setting themselves up for destruction. Because <laughs> this is about to get crazy out here. So let's go end off with this Ephesians. Because she should have uh, applied this scripture. She needed this. This uh, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that they walk circumspectly. Circumspect. Circum going to circle. Speck mean to look. She should have been looking around. She walking. You know. We don't know how we're heads we looking around being circumspect. She, that's, she should be. Especially at 3 in the morning. Not as fools, but as wise. She just walking around, oh, cuckoo. She's walking like a fool. And dude got him one. And verse 16, because this is what her big problem too. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're in evil days. Yeah, we might have a little pockets of salvation, you know, in our little households, but out on the outside, the days be evil. Esau got everything on demon time. We're in the evil times, and it's only going to get worse. So redeeming the time, telling you the time is not good. This is not the time to be running around late night. You want to be in party mode. I wouldn't even be in party mode at this point. You know, you be all right, you go out to get you a drink or out to eat, but I wouldn't be going to no clubs or nothing. Like that, that kind of that, that stuff's over with. We get into like purge type of, of, of stuff, of events. It's gonna be the purge out here when Esau pulled a plug on this society. And Jake should not be in party mode. This is the time you need to be getting right with your how about shower shop, praying, uh, putting yourself in a good lot. Because when this word gets pulled back, then you know you're gonna be stuck with whatever you got. And if you do no, you ain't got no works for your how about shower shop. Then hey, why should he save you? So a lot of these these e's gonna be crying when that Jacob's trouble time hit, and we are very near to that time. Very near. Dudes using belts to pass people out and ravish them. That's the times we're in. And it's only going to get worse. They will probably start running around in groups 
you know, like some wolves looking for some little stupid chick walking down the block so they can get her. This she in New York, man. I'm hearing about this stuff happening in New York all the time. Subways, I'm like, heifer. You got to be paying attention, man. Quit being careless. So I just want to put out this quick little, you know, watchman lesson, let you know, man. These dudes, it's about to get worse, man. They they out here, they they hunting for easy victims. And a good way to put yourself in a position to be safe, hey, put the covering of your howl by some y'all shower on you. That's a good hedge of protection right there. You know, the Lord controls these events. You know, if you're doing things to please him, you know, he'll make it. That dude could have tripped and failed before he got to that chick had she been in the truth. You know? Now, she would have seen him. I said, we needed divine judgment to help us out. You know, we did that divine intervention to make it through this. We need the Lord. We need Yahweh Bashan Shah. That's who's going to keep us and preserve us through all this calamity that's about to hit this place. Because I, I ain't to say women, man. I'm like, you know, these dudes getting out of prison, they looking for some dude, too. They might not want no woman. I want butt. You know, they going to lasso your butt with a belt and yank you between some cars and, and you know, do you in. So we got to stay prayed up, y'all, Shrala. Stay prayed up because it's about to get, it's going to be, we're going into some real evil days, real evil days. So with that, you know, I hope this has been edifying. I want to say Kwame Yashra Allah. Hey, stay locked on this truth because your Howard Shah is quickly on the way. Shalom.